looking to buy a majestic residence in Moiklof Heights. Good afternoon. This is Xavier with Luxury Homes Johannesburg. Today we are in this exquisite estate. We're about to tour this property together with listing agent Marusha from Luxlift Property, who's going to take us on a tour. Specs of the house, as always. This is a five bedroom, seven bathroom, five garage home. Guys, this is a big one. You're going to enjoy it. Marusha. Thank you very much. Well, we were hoping to show you the sunsets because this property has the most magnificent views of the whole of Pretoria. And I think on a clear day, you can see all the way to Johannesburg. But unfortunately, it is overcast. This is the um, summer weather here, so it might start raining. But we get the beauty of the sky that is uh, just above us. You can see the absolutely stunning views 360 views. This house was designed specifically to show us the beauty of Pretoria and the beauty of the property that we are in. We are on a 1,200 square meter house, 12,000 square meter land. And we are on top of a hill and we get to see everything. Just a quick look here. We are in a double volume fourth couché. I think I got it right this time. Absolutely gorgeous space and it's wide enough so your guest vehicles will drive through because it's super important when you have all your very important majestic guests, they stop, they come out and then they step straight into another opulent double volume entrance hall and here you might have some of your Kir Royale, some of your cocktails, welcoming your guests, enjoying this absolutely magnificent crystal chandelier. I don't know if you call this a stalactite or a stalagmite, but one or the other, it gives you this absolutely stunning impression. It's a, it's a heavy chandelier, but it is floating above us. And um, it just is a taste of what is to come. Everything here is about quality, uh, about uh, opulence, and uh, no detail is spared and no expense is spared. First of all, I just want to point out, we are walking on a marble flooring. And these are massive tiles. This is, I would say, about 70, 80 centimeter tiles. Massive marble fly, uh, tiles, and this is throughout the floor. I've now walked through the entrance, and the, the centerpiece here divides the two living spaces. So we're going to have a bigger look, or more detailed look, at the formal lounge shortly. For now, we're going to walk past the dining room. And I love the fact that they've created a round table. You know, Sir Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table, everyone is equal here, but this is a very majestic house. So only special guests on this table. And we're going to step then further down this corridor. What they've done is they've used some of the walls here as a divider, which will also allow your kitchen to be semi-open plan, but it's also hidden from your formal guests. And that way, if there's caterers here or messy dishes here, it's not a problem, it's completely hidden. They've also created a lot of space for um, built-in fridges. So it's a double door fridge here. All the appliances are built-in, smeg appliances. And we have the mixture of the gas and the electric. And we have, of course, uh, the compulsory coffee machine. I don't think you can build a house like this without a espresso machine and then the microwave and so on. And usually we're not going to go into too much detail about the scullery, but I think it's worth while showing it. This house is about entertaining. There's going to be a lot of entertainment rooms I'm showing you. So of course you want to know that the scullery can um, cater for that as well. So walking down still marble flooring, we have a very big scullery and this would be a door to one of the four garages that we have. Just a note, this house also comes with two ensuite bedrooms for your staff to support you. It's a big place, you're going to need that support. Yeah. And then we're going to go further to explore the entertainment spaces. Then we're going to come back and have a look at two bedrooms downstairs and three bedrooms upstairs. So keep watching because this house has lots to offer. This is a family room and the TV room. So again, from where I'm standing, you are concealed from your formal guests. If you have teenagers, they can still sit here and enjoy watching TV. And then you are still part of the whole party. 
So your teenagers are sitting here, but we've opened all of our stacking doors and we're going to explore the patio, which is an exceptionally deep room shortly. But first let's step and have a look at more rooms this house has to offer. Mind your step, we're just going two steps down and another two and look at that cinema room. And I think immediately as I walk in, you can hear that this room is completely soundproof, but at the same time, cozy, air conditioned, the sound is built in, we've got the server here, there's an eight seater lounge or well, cinema seat at the moment, leather, you can even put more if you want to. So absolutely gorgeous cinema room. From there, we're stepping further into more of the entertainment rooms. But before we carry on with entertaining, let's talk about gymming. If you have a cinema room in a house like this, you also want to have a gym room. And this gym room is with a magnificent view. And most of the rooms in this house are elevated. So even though we are on the ground floor, because we are on a hill, no wonder this is called Moikluf Height, what they've created is little balconies with uh, seamless glass balustrades everywhere. So quality throughout the space. Out of the gym, to the left, a very conveniently placed uh, guest toilet with a basin. And this toilet would work for the gym. It would also work for the entertainment space, which we've just stepped into. And I'm going to walk you out the opposite way now when we go out again, so you can get a sense of the flow. But basically, all of your entertainment rooms are wrapped around the super deep patio. And what we've got here is a built-in bar area. So remember, we've already seen two living spaces. We've seen a gym, we've seen a cinema, we've seen a family room. Now we're seeing a bar with the compulsory Snowmaster built-in fridges and gorgeous display units. I think someone's drank most of the alcohol. Maybe it was me, I came early. We have a built-in bra as well, which we're going to see. And again, stacking doors throughout. Another TV room, we've, uh, we're just walking through. And this, I would say, has to be your relaxation lounge. This is all part of all these living spaces, but here, you have the absolutely gorgeous views of Pretoria. I don't know if you can hear the sound. This is the crystal chandelier. It's catching a little bit of the afternoon breeze, which is magnificent because it's been hot. And um, it's almost like a wind chime. Hopefully it doesn't chime too much and break, but uh, for now it's just looking gorgeous. They've created a little Zen garden right here. We have a mixture of pebbles and um, some uh, succulent as well as this uh, water feature, which for now we turned off just so we can have uh, the sound uh, carry well. We're walking on a composite deck, a massive composite deck. Because it's a big house, we're talking big parties. We of course expect a lot of space for our guests. When they're finished with the indoor activities, step out onto the deck, enjoy this uh, beautiful swimming pool and uh, from there, the vistas, as far as the eye can see. And this, of course, is an infinity pool because sitting down here, all you're going to see is the water. You see some fruit trees. They've planted quite a lot of fruit trees here. And a reminder again, we are on a 12,000 square meter property, 1.2 hectares. The property also comes with a borehole and boreholes are uh, typical for Moikluf Heights which is uh, really a great feature, especially in this uh, day and age of uh, water shortage. This house also comes with solar and an inverter. So you are sorted with your backup power. Moikluf Heights, a few minutes away from Menlin, my favorite shopping center in Pretoria, and uh, exceptionally well located. There is a lot of development in the area. So there is a lot being added on in terms of the roads. There's a shopping center coming up very soon. There's various private schools in the area. So we really have everything your heart can desire. We've walked back now into the patio area. I'm still walking on marble, hey? So this is all throughout the house. The quality is absolutely exquisite. I'm loving this bonsai tree. It's almost starting to become a real tree, but it also shows you how much it's loving the spot here as well and the view. So really great. 
very high ceilings here and now is a time to point out we have built-in music we also have um, yeah so we have the surround sound we have air conditioning some of the rooms also have underfloor heating and um, everything here at the touch of a button I was going to point out there is one of the um, iPads that can control the sound the music and the lights for a big house like this you definitely don't want to be walking far for lights now we're going to be seeing the main bedroom which is magnificent but before that the guest bedroom so a quick squeeze at that and this is ensuite the same as every bedroom in this house beautiful space completely private tucked away also with its own even though we're on the ground floor we are still elevated from the ground so we have that glass balustrade balcony and then we have the ensuite bathroom and i'll point out to you that each and every bathroom in this house is unique and different so they've chosen a different tile for each bathroom this tile is pretty much in line with my outfit it's got a touch of gold in it and uh, the shades of brown and beige so it's very earthy it's very calming uh, feel and the earthiness also is carried on with the curvy sink basin everything it's like a teardrop shape beautifully done and here we have a massive shower Marusha I'm glad I get the, a second to chat <laughs> just kidding your turn no no all good this is a stunner so far this is majestic grandiose grandeur all those words are very applicable for this house you mentioned the floor i can't get over these floors it doesn't matter where you are in the house this is truly truly stunning i mean guys and what is magnificent is we've got these waterfall countertops here so this is caesar stone it's white just a touch of um, the marbling um, effect on it so that speaks to the floors the cabinetry is all white gloss so all the colors they've selected for the house are very light, beiges, touch of grayish. And this, of course, displays all your beautiful furniture all the better. A quick look here. We're just walking down this corridor. We're literally now to the left of the entrance hall, just to give you an idea. And I think it's worthwhile to point out probably one of the biggest toilets. Almost feels like a waste. It should be an ensuite bedroom. It's so big. I'm sure you could fit a single bed in here as well. <laughs> Make it a bachelor. You, know? you got a headrest already. It's, a, <laughs> it's an absolutely gorgeous toilet. This door here is a double garage. We're gonna have a look at the next one. Um, and yeah, that will give you a very good idea. And now we're going to walk down past that entrance hall again and through that formal lounge area. And this is what I'm talking about. All your very calming colors of your finishes are all the better to display your custom made furniture because this furniture is really special and of course if you just look at the art pieces this um, glass pieces that are everywhere they stand out on top of that furniture and on the background of this uh, opulent house absolutely magnificent i love this fireplace look at this guys what do you think so far so good so we're almost halfway not yet halfway let's have a look at your home office call it a home office but of course you see it's been designed more as a cinema or another tv room so you can just sit and relax if you want to work or if you feel like working when you're in this amazing surroundings this is the home office there's a little desk displaying that you can work from here its own balcony once again and from that balcony you can step straight out into the garden once again guest toilet again and different design and a quick note on the doors custom made doors super heavy this is wood a touch of steel here just to give that modern look solid beautiful and it's a darker wood which again just gives you that contrast from the beiges and it uh, brings one piece up as well we're now going down this corridor into the most private main bedroom suite i've ever seen so however loud things get in here it's all good beautiful space 
his and hers or his and his or hers and hers walk-in closet anyone's guess but the walk-in closets are magnificent you've got two of them and you have gorgeous views of your garden we didn't open here because the wind would would uh, blow it away but we have again the seamless glass balustrade here and what they've done is they've created the two walk-in closets on either side of the entrance that way there's no clashing in the mornings if one's getting up earlier than the other and both of them again have a different look and feel as well which i think is really great you have the smoky glass and uh, the darker sliding door shades here i would say it's almost like a petrol color it's what uh, or olive color should i say green olive color yes and then here we have a stunning display for your shoes for your handbags or whatever your price positions are an amazing hollywood dressing table complete with the lights and all the other cool goodies that you can wish for drawers here you can display your sunglasses or all your other accessories and then a few white this is pearly white color sliding doors again from there we step into a magnificent open plan bathroom but it's a semi open plan and from there we've got double basin again they're quite apart so no one's going to be pushing into each other freestanding bath huge shower you've got the rain shower on the one end and you've got the normal size shower plus a handheld shower so the choice is yours and then a private toilet Marusha, this is a massive. This bedroom alone, the bedroom suite, is probably bigger than most people's houses, I think. Because this thing is, is oh. Well, speaking of that, those two walk-in closets can be a bedroom in their own right. So yes, I think I can comfortably fit a three-bedroom apartment in here. What they've done here is also very clever. They've built in your TV unit. So it's, it's very seamless. It doesn't stand out. The bed is facing your inner space your your sanctuary with the lounge suite and so on but you also have two doors so if you want that breeze of fresh air you can literally step off your bed and out onto your terraced garden so it's really lovely what they've done with these uh, massive steps it's almost like giant steps but we're on the giant property so you can have that and then you step out you enjoy the breeze and then you back in Truly, truly amazing. How's this, guys? What do you think? And just note the ceilings. We have the strip lighting around. They've dropped the ceiling a little bit here. Creates a sense of coziness. But at the same time, everything, the snow white, it's so peaceful. It's so calming. It really makes you enjoy that space. And back out this door. A quick note, we've got two of the garages on the one end of the house. So in total, there are five garages in this house. We've seen two on either end, and then there's a fifth one around the corner. So, so far we have seen two bedrooms, three toilets, and the two bedrooms sound sweet with their own bathrooms, and countless living spaces. One, two, three, four, five plus a gym, plus a cinema. I'm and not sure more. if the camera shows, but this thing is bigger than the two probably together. That thing is massive, the chandelier. It is. It is magnificent. And apart from the pendants, you also have hundreds of crystals surrounding the pendants. So very important, I want to speak about this balustrade because it is the most exquisite workmanship not only do we have glass balustrade but they've also managed to follow the curve of the staircase with the glass i can't imagine how many panels had to break to produce this amazing uh, piece of uh, workmanship but it is totally worth it it speaks to the chandelier there's curves everywhere in this house so it needed to be curvy You've got the opulence, but it's also modern. 
We've now gone upstairs. I'm completely out of breath, so your turn. <laughs> We've arrived in the pyjama lounge. Look at this stunning fireplace and material-wise, what are we looking at here, Marisha? So this is composite. So it's, it's, it almost has the look and feel of uh, millions of sands, little pieces, all stuck together. But it gives you this 3D effect. It's, it's beautiful to the touch. It's almost like a Zen garden style, but it's also super safe. You can clean it, you can heat it. It's a product that always looks perfect. This massive pyjama lounge and out of there we step onto a balcony once again to enjoy the absolutely magnificent views. We are at the probably highest point um, this side of Pretoria East. That tells you also is you're on a big, very big piece of land so the estate is big enough. You can do jogging, you can cycle, you can do all sorts of sports activities here and the estate also comes with a clubhouse. It was nice to see another view of the size of 12,000 squares. People seem to be <laughs> underestimating the size of that, just the land. So to put it in perspective, my usual playground is waterfall. The standard size of a stand there is a thousand square meters. This stand alone here is 12 times that size. So you can just imagine the value of the land that you're getting. We can invite the pirates to come and practice on, the, on your field in your backyard. <laughs> For sure. We've now stepped into uh, the third bedroom we're seeing so far. So upstairs we're going to see five bed uh, three bedrooms in total making five. I love the fact that they've built that headboard for the bed uh, that fits the bed as well as the, the side panels. My OCD was kicking in. Yes. Special wallpaper just to, you know, to clad this uh, wall dividing the wardrobes with the um, full bathroom. So you see again, as I mentioned downstairs, all the toilets, all the bathrooms have their own unique look. I'm absolutely loving the tile they chose here. It's beautiful. It uh, represents a stone, but this is a tile, massive tile pieces. And this is of course uh, your one feature wall and then you have the complementing tiles on either side and two, again, two basins, freestanding bath, massive shower. So this would uh, be a main bedroom in any other house very comfortably, but it is one of, let's say, one of your kids' bedrooms here. Now we're heading for bedroom number two, equal size. And again, it's got its own distinct look and feel. They've chosen a different type of uh, wallpaper, again with the 3D effect. And this one actually feels like silk. So maybe it is even silk, but very, very smooth and silky to the touch. We have our own balcony here. And again, overlooking the massive property that we are on. And another massive closet. All of the bedrooms, huge closets and huge unique bathrooms. The towel once again. So here they've gone with shades of grey and again we have a full bathroom here. I'm sure my teenagers would not complain if this was their house. Those of you who have seen all the bathrooms thus far, which is your favourite? I mean as we're stepping out we're just looking at those sprawling views. 360 views from every single room of this house and of course it's a big house if you're upstairs you don't want to be walking downstairs for your coffee so there's the coffee machine there's the basin microwave pop your popcorn watch the in the uh, tv in the pyjama lounge and remember downstairs we have a cinema room a walk-in linen cupboard how often can you see that first time when you walked in here I thought it was another bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> you can Whoops. fit a single bed here as well. So between the toilet downstairs and the, <laughs> and the linen cabinet, we can add two more bedrooms, guys. Harry Potter style. The same composite look that we have cladding the fireplace is wallpaper cladding on this side. So very clever, very nicely done. All talks to each other, speaks. 
And now stepping into bedroom number five. Again, stunning views. Again, massive space, lots of cupboard space. And again, another unique bathroom. Even the baths are unique. Each bath has its own shape. And this bath is worth noting. It also has all the curvy elements. You see it completely different from all the others. This looks very big. It's massive. And imagine just displaying all your um, artwork throughout the space because currently it is pristine but it will everything that you put up here will stand out beautifully you can put all your family mementos here and bring in that color that uh, the property needs to make it your own so this is a home that you can make absolutely magnificent a quick note where we're standing right now this is the view from your door so imagine this humongous piece of artwork right here and then this is almost like a Juliet balcony and remember that curvy effect of the glass incredible and coming down the stairs again that chandelier I think this is way longer than three meters the the length of the longest stalactite or stalagmite whichever way Someone correct me, please. <laughs> Which is it? I'll keep it decent and I'll say it afterwards. Stalagmites hang mighty to the ground. Stalactites. <laughs> and let's end this tour outside again, my favorite place, in the garden. And just to summarize what we've seen, we've seen feature wallpaper, we've seen an exquisite kitchen with a living room, multiple living rooms actually three toilets over and above the five bathrooms and we are perched on top of the hill 360 views ho, ho, ho. size the sizes of these bedrooms of these living areas of the entertainment areas guys 1200 on the roof and yet you don't see it even on the property of 12,000 which is yeah, just massive. I have no other words for it. Guys, what do you think of this majestic residence in Moiklov Heights? As always, if you have any questions, make sure to reach out. Marusha's email and phone numbers are below. Otherwise, just drop a comment and we will take care of you there. Guys, thank you, thank you so much. And Marusha, much appreciated. Guys, cheers.